Gayun din naman, patay ang pananampalatayang walang kalakip na gawa. Ang Miyerkules ang araw na inilalaan natin para sa ina ng laging saklolo. Noon, ito ang araw na punong-puno ang ating simbahan ng mga deboto na nagmumula pa sa iba't ibang lugar. Iba't ibang uri ng tao, iisa ang nasa puso. Iisa ang nais patunguhan ang pambansang dambana ng ina ng laging saklolo. Nagpapasalamat, humihiling, umaasa, nangungusap. Isa ka rin ba sa mga deboto? Isang kasunduan na kusang loob na inihandog, nilagdaan ng mga puso, tinatakan ng mga luha, dalawang kamay na nagdaupang palad. Ang kasunduan nating mga deboto at ni Inay Maria. Sinubukan ng panahon. Ang mga hamon, pandemya at protokol ay hindi kailanman naging hadlang upang maging tapat ng mga anak ni Inay Maria upang maging mga disipulo ng kanyang anak. Naroon ang kasiyahan at kaganapan. Ito ang ating misyon. Inakay ni Inay Maria tungo kay Yesus Kristo upang maging debotong lingkod ng kanyang laging saklolo. Hello devotees of our Mother Perpetua Health, Happy Feast Day to all of us. The theme for this year's feast is in the gift of devotion is the joy of mission. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Victorino Cueto, CSSR. Thank you. Sinners, honor your sinless perfection. 
in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Maligayang maligayang kapistahan po sa ating lahat. Maligayang kapistahan. Sa gitna ng pandemya, nagdiriwang tayo ng kapistahan. In the midst of these difficult times, we celebrate in thanksgiving to our mother of perpetual help, to her beloved son, our perpetual help. Daladala po natin ngayon ang isang taon na ating buhay bilang mga deboto, misyonero at misyonera ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo. Isang taon dahil simula nung kabilang pista hanggang sa ngayon. Dala natin ang kwento ng ating buhay, dala natin ang ating pananalig, ang ating pananampalataya, at ito po ang ating ipagdiwang. As we begin this Eucharistic celebration, let us prepare ourselves. Let us ask for God's mercy and for pardon, especially for the times when we have turned ourselves away from the Lord and away from one another. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to and you, to my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to God, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. You, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father. Let us pray. 
gracious and loving God, you have given us Mary, the mother of Jesus, your divine son, to be our mother of perpetual help. May her powerful prayers bring us protection from danger and freedom from sin, that we may come to the joy of your peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, As a sign of the Lord your God, let it be deep as Seol, or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, it is too little for you to weary mortals, that you weary my God also. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the virgin is with child, and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey. By the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. For before the child knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good, the land before whose two kings you are in dread will be deserted. The Lord will bring on you and on your people and on your ancestral house such days as have not come since the day that Ephraim departed from Judah, the king of Assyria. The Word of the Lord. I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me, and save me. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. O God, do not stay far off. My God, make haste to help me. A reading from the book of Revelation. A great portent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth cramps, in the agony of giving birth. 
Then another portent appeared in heaven, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his heads. His stole swept down a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child so that he might devour her child as soon as it was born. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was snatched away and taken to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she was a place prepared by God, so that there she can be nourished for 1,260 days. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accusers of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary the wife of Cleophas and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Sisters and brothers, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Fiesta sa ating lahat. Parang hiyang-hiya naman kayo. <laughs> Happy Fiesta! Ano nga ba ang kahulugan ng pagdiriwang ng kapistahan sa isang pagkakataon at panahon na alam natin marami ang 
nahihirapan dahil sa pandemya. Marahil ay nagtataka kayo bakit may malaking cabinet dito sa unahan. Actually, this big cabinet contains 150,000 letters, 328 letters of petitions, and 16,021 letters of thanksgiving which was offered to our mother of perpetual help from June 24 of last year to June 23 of this year. So halos isa, isang taon po. Ang mga liham po na sinusulat dito para sa mahal na ina ay iniipon po. Ito po ay binabasa kada martes ng umaga para tingnan kung ano ang mga nakasulat at pumipili din po kami we choose letters of thanksgiving that has a narrative may kwento at maayos yung pagkakasulat so that we read them every novena day on Wednesday 15,328 16,021 Daang libong buhay Daang libong pananampalataya And we are not yet counting those who have not written the letters As we celebrate the feast day of our mother of perpetual help One thing I think is very important that our devotion is about our life and about our faith. Saksi po ang mga sulat na ito na kung saan ibinabahagi ang buhay, ang kwento ng buhay. Hindi lamang po Humihiling, ako ay pagalingin, hindi lamang ito para makapasa sa eksamen, hindi lamang para magkatrabaho. But beneath that is the very life that people live. Ang buhay na pumipintig sa bawat isa. Sa liham ng pasasalamat ay ipinapakita ano ang biyayang natanggap. At kalimitan, doon din natin mananamnam kung ano ang pinagdaanan ng bawat isa. The journey that that letter sender has been through, which means her or his struggles in life and the difficult path of being able to stand up, to be able to be helped by our dear beloved mother. Kaya po, ang ipinagdiriwang natin ngayong kapistahan na ito, unang-una ay ang buhay ng bawat deboto, buhay ng bawat na isa na narito ngayon, the life, the very life of those sitting near you. And the faith ang paniniwala at pagtitiwala ng bawat isa. Ang ibig po nitong sabihin ay tayo ay nagagalak at nagpapasalamat dahil ang ating buhay ay inialay natin sa altar ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo, sa altar ng kanyang anak na si Jesus. We allowed God to be part of our life. Hindi natin binaliwala ang Diyos. Hindi natin siya isinangtabi lamang. And this is what we celebrate this feast. Kaya nga po sa ating pagbasa ngayon, habang nasa paanan ng krus, si Maria 
the wife of Cleophas, Mary Magdalene, the beloved disciple, and Mary, the mother herself. Sinabi ni Jesus sa disipulo, o sinabi ni, ni Jesus kay Maria, Woman, here is your son. Waring sinasabi din ni Jesus sa mahal na ina, sa mahal na ina ng laging saklolo, Here is your sons and daughters. Here are your sons and daughters. Narito ang iyong mga anak. At ganun din sinabi ni Jesus sa disipulo, Here is your mother. At wari din na sinasabi sa atin ni Jesus, Narito ang inyong ina. At dahil dito ay di nagkakaroon ng tagpuan ang ina, mahal na ina ng laging saklolo, at tayong lahat ng mga diboto. Kaya hindi tayo nagdadalawang isip na ialay ang ating buhay, ibahagi sa Kanya ang nangyayari sa bawat araw ng ating buhay, ang ating pakikibaka, ang ating pag-asa, ang ating kahilingan, ang ating pasasalamat. This is what it means to be a devotee, to be able to offer our life for our mother and trust that our mother takes care of us so that then we allow God to be part of our life. Kaya nga po, ang icon, ang banal na larawan ay tinatawag na window to the divine. Bintana patungo sa Diyos. Dahil noong buksan natin ang ating puso para kay Inay Maria, noong ibinabahagi natin sa Kanya ang ating lahat-lahat, binubuksan din ang bintana patungo sa Diyos. Hinahayaang mapakinggan at masulyapan ng Panginoon ang ating buhay. This is what it means to be a devotee. At mapapansin din po natin sa ating tema, sa biyayang debosyon ay ang kagalakan ng misyon. Dahil ang ating pagiging deboto ay mayroon ding tunguhin na ang bawat isa sa atin ay maging misyonero at misyonera ng laging saklolo. Sa mga taong pumupunta dito, ninanais natin na ang diwa ng pagiging laging saklolo ang siyang mabuhay at manaig sa ating puso. Tayo bilang diboto ay lumalapit sa ina upang siya mismo ang magdala ng ating mga panalangin sa kanyang anak, sa ating Panginoon. Tayo ay humihingi ng saklolo. Pero sana din ang biyaya ng ating pagdidebosyon ay tayo din mismo ang magiging saklolo. Sana ang ating pagiging deboto ay gagawin din tayong misyonero at misyonera ng pagiging laging saklolo upang ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ang ating maibahagi sa isa't isa. Sa ating pagdiriwa ngayon ng kapistahan, buo nating itataas sa Panginoon. Tayo'y deboto, tayo din ay yumayakap sa pagiging misyonero at misyonera. Hindi tayo maghihintay na ang ating kahilingan ay matutupad upang tayo ay maging saklolo sa iba. Hindi tayo maghihintay na puspus na tayo ng biyaya 
bago pa, tatin, bago pa natin maiabot ang ating kamay sa ating kapwa. Hindi po. Bubuhayin na natin ngayon pa ang ibig sabihin ng misyon ng pagiging laging saklolo. Dahil alam natin tayo ay tunay ng mga deboto. Sa panahon ng pandemya, sa panahong napakarami sa atin ang dapang dapana. Sana po magdiriwang tayo ng kapistahan dahil buhay na buhay ang ating pagiging deboto at buhay na buhay din ang ating pagiging misyonero at misyonera ng pagiging laging saklolo. God bless us all. Happy Fiesta! Let us now profess our faith. I believe, I in, believe God, in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this feast day, let us pray to our loving Father that through the intercession and example of Mary, our mother of perpetual health, may we, we may be able to follow his will. Let our response be, we beseech you, hear us. We beseech you, hear us. For our folk, bishops, and clergy, especially the Redemptorists, like our mother of perpetual health, may they continue to serve with you with humility and genuine love for the flock entrusted to them, let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, hear us. For the leaders of our nation, through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Health, may their lives and service be offered unconditionally for their people, especially in these trying times, let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, hear us. For all of us gathered here and all devotees of our mother perpetual help, may we welcome channels of mercy and love to the hungry, the homeless, the lonely, and the persecuted, especially in this time of pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, hear us. For all of us, may we never lose faith and hope amidst this COVID-19 pandemic and find strength to express social solidarity with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, hear us. For those who offered Masses to, to be celebrated in the National Shrine of our Mother Perpetual Health, may God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. We beseech you, hear us. Let us now silently pray for our other intentions. Father, grant that all who have recourse to Mary, to Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother of Perpetual Help, experience your merciful love through Christ our Lord. Amen.
the Lord, you sons of God. Give the Lord the glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of His name. Adore the Lord in His holy tent. Bring to the Lord your Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Lord, accept our gifts and prayers, and fill our hearts with the light of your Holy Spirit. Help us to follow the example of the Virgin Mary, to seek you in all things and to do your will with joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. We especially praise you and proclaim your glory as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, our mother of perpetual help. She received your word in the purity of her heart and conceiving in her virgin womb, gave birth to our Savior, and so nurtured the church at its beginning. She accepted God's parting gift of love as she stood beneath the cross, and so became the mother of all those who were brought to life through the death of her only son. She joined her prayers with those of the apostles as together they awaited the coming of your spirit and so became the perfect pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she cares for the pilgrim church with a mother's love, following its progress homeward until the day of the Lord dawns in splendor. Now with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in the unending hymn of praise. Oh, 
Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, O Savior of the world, who by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our bishop, all the clergy, the religious, and the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Mother of Perpetual Help, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh, glory and honor is your so mighty Father, for ever and ever. Full of trust and confidence in our loving Father, let us now sing the prayer that our brother Jesus taught us. See you. 
As Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles then and is saying to all of us now, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer one another the sign of peace. Let us also greet each other. Happy fiesta. Jesus, the Lamb of God, He is sharing His body and blood to all of us so that we too will learn what it means to love and share. Happy are we then who are called to participate in this banquet. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
myself in front of you, my mother. I can hear my lady, your sweet whisper, saying, I love you so, my child, beating me to an encounter of love. The two angels beside you, Mary, also tell me not to be afraid. They teach me to hold on to Jesus, to receive the child in your arms in my life. Oh, Mother of perpetual help, your case promises me lasting peace. Your hand leads me to the fullness of life. To do God's will is now my heart's desire. Jesus, my Redeemer and perpetual help, make me your instrument of love in the world. Your hand on which Christ placed His hands, a true expression of love and communion, inviting me to join you in holy silence, to walk with you and your Son from now on. O Mother of perpetual help, your case promises me lasting peace. Your hands lead me to the fullness of life. To do God's will is now my heart's desire. Jesus, my Redeemer and perpetual help, make me an instrument of love in the world. O loving Mother Mary, be with me always as I follow Jesus. Help me to be like you in love and Recognize his face in the poor and the lowly. Oh, my dearest, most loving Mama Mary, whatever really happens to me. my journey takes me, your perpetual help never leaves me. O oh, Mother of perpetual help, your case promises me lasting peace. Your hand leads me to the fullness of life. To do 
God's will is now my heart's desire. Jesus, my Redeemer and perpetual help, make me an instrument of love in the world. To do God's will is now my heart's desire. Jesus, my Redeemer and perpetual help, make me an instrument, make me an instrument, make me an instrument of love. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to her protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise her petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Palunzol. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health. Pray for us. Let us pray. Lord, may the sacrament we have received strengthen our faith and renew our hope in you as we honor Mary, our mother of perpetual help. May her faith inspire us to follow you more closely and serve you more faithfully in the work of plentiful redemption. Grant this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Kindly bow down for the blessings. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of Mary, our Mother of Perpetual Help, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass does not end here. We will continue it 
as we become devoted missionaries of faith of perpetual help. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. <laughs> Sound check. Sound. Sound check. Sounds like... 